Well, months ago we put in the order for nice weather on Eclipse Day. I'm putting <laughs> in the order for nice weather on Marathon Sunday. You didn't tell me you were doing this here at 6 o'clock. Well, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, usually it works out to be pretty nice. I'm not much of a morning person, but it's so cool to be out there at 4 in the morning getting ready. And uh, we will be ready. So Storm Tracker right now shows the main band of rain exiting out. Burlington got almost three-tenths of an inch of rain. Other spots more like a tenth or two-tenths. Bottom line, not a lot. There's a little bit of shower action left, though, in the Adirondacks. The main band is pushing into New Hampshire, kind of slowing down. A little bit of snow on the summits uh, of the White Mountains. But the last of the shower action now coming through the Upper Valley, at least uh, what we're seeing here locally from Woodstock to Lebanon down to Heartland and Windsor. And as we pull out here, you see a little bit more there getting into northern New York and then the, well, we call it the warm sector. For you, that's it's the good part you want to be in. We'll have some more sunshine tomorrow, temperatures in the 60s, and then the front starts to come in from the west, really by late afternoon tomorrow. So it's not totally clear tomorrow, not even close, but I think it's a lot more enjoyable than today because we've only got 40s right now. Look at Saranac Lake at 45 right now. I can give you a look downtown. The road is dry now. So mostly just a few leftover showers coming on through. It's only 41 in Montpelier, and you'll see there the grass starting to turn green at the State House. So the band of rain and the evening patch of rain exits tonight. Got thick clouds in the morning, and then they start to thin a little bit. See 12 noon, pockets of sunshine. That's how most of us get up into the 60s tomorrow and then the rain comes in in northern New York late afternoon and then Vermont after that New Hampshire not a lot just another tenth of an inch or so sunshine Saturday morning though will quickly fade to some clouds these are instability clouds on Friday after I should say Saturday afternoon there may be a little sprinkle too but all in all Saturday is an okay day Sunday's probably the better one with more of a sun and cloud mix even uh, as we go through the day. So it looks pretty good. Then it will be gusty tomorrow. Could be some 30 mile an hour gusts coming out of the south. And then the front will go through and switch around the direction. More of a, a wind from the west on Saturday. But still 20, 25 miles per hour. So with some of those afternoon clouds, it likely feels pretty chilly Saturday later on. But we're mostly done with the rain. Just another tenth of an inch or so possible later tomorrow when the uh, actual front comes through. So generally some evening showers tonight and then quiet after that with a thick cloud cover till about tomorrow morning. That keeps temps pretty close to 40. But with that thinning of the cloud deck tomorrow, we get to 63 in Messina, 58 in Keysville. And tomorrow is one of those days where if we manage like an hour of more clearing than expected, the numbers just pop even higher. So. We'll be watching for that. Either way, it's pretty close to 60 for a lot of us. 55 in Stowe. Down the road, we've got uh, 59 in Rockingham. So here comes the extended forecast with an okay weekend. Uh, just a little shower around Saturday afternoon. Sunday should be dry, 54, sun and clouds. Monday's cool with sunshine. And then we try to warm up there, but it's like spurts, and they don't really stick around. So 60 on Tuesday. Some rain possible on Wednesday of next week, but we're not really tracking any big time washouts. So for an updated look at the spring flood potential, Matt's here. Not really concerned, right? Not super concerned, Tyler, and we'll go into the reasons why this is just not looking like a, a big spring flood. First of all, the Mount Mansfield snow stake, yes, it has 63 inches, but it's very isolated, meaning that outside of the very high summits, there's just not a whole lot of snow to go around. You can see a lot of thawing, a lot of snowstorms since uh, early March there. Kind of looks like a roller coaster when you look at that yellow line there, but we're right around where we should be in terms of snow depth on Mount Mansfield. Field. You see over the last week the Lake Champlain level has risen a little bit and right now we're just below flood stage by about 9 or 10 inches. But you see how it's leveling off and even starting to drop there in the last uh, uh, right edge of the, uh, of the graph there. So because of that, the fact that there's not much rain over the next week and we don't have any ice jams on the rivers, very little snowpack left in the mountains. That all equates to a very low spring flood risk for us this year. You got to remember too, this time of year, the vegetation, the trees, the plants, they're taking in much more water and the sun is stronger. So there's more evaporation. So all in all, we're looking like a pretty uneventful this spring. Liz.